Now, your weather alert forecast. Good evening on 3 News Now. Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Zeppelin with this latest weather update for 3newsnow.com. Well, we're now under a winter weather advisory. Officially, it goes into effect at 3 o'clock in the morning on Friday, but everybody is going to be impacted by this winter storm moving in, and it's going to be an early morning arrival, so the commute in the morning will be impacted. More significant snow, though, will be further to our east and up to the north. So again, in the parts of Iowa, that's where substantial, really several inches of snow is most likely. Okay, our commutes, morning and evening, they're both going to be impacted a little bit differently, though. The morning rush, with the temperatures below freezing, we're talking snow and the wind will be whipping across the area more from the southeast so that's going to start pumping in all the moisture and also some warmer temperatures by the time we get to the evening commute between five to six o'clock we'll be closer to freezing and so what we're expecting is is that we'll be transitioning from snow to that freezing drizzle and that is going to cause a layer of ice across the area making it even more slick and slippery as far as the commute goes now, as far as the timing we start to see things rolling in here maybe about midnight heaviest stuff down to the south and then it just keeps spreading. Once we get to 6 o'clock in the morning, full on with that commute, and we're looking at some moderate to heavy snow showers with that strong wind blowing in. This is going to be a heavy, wet snowfall for us. And one of the reasons why is where the moisture is coming from, down in the Gulf of Mexico. That transition starts occurring probably close to about lunchtime, continues on and off into the evening. More of a freezing drizzle event by the time that we get to the evening commute as temperatures are closer to freezing. And then once we get to late in the evening, early by Saturday morning, the system is moving out, at least the first part of it, but the next one with the Arctic cold front, that starts arriving after about 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, and the winds will be whipping. We're looking at gusts between 40 to 50 miles an hour when the front moves through. Temperatures will plummet, and we could see some flash freezing. Basically what that means is anything that's wet, it will freeze up on contact and that could cause even more concerns across the area. As far as our totals, we're looking at about three to five inches, and it all really does hinge on the fact when the switch over from snow to that wintry mix occurs. But right now, thinking closer to about two o'clock for us, so that means I think we could see about three to four inches here in the metro area. To the south, a little bit lighter, but again, more to the north, the totals will be more significant. The next 72 hours, the cold air really rushes in here once this front exits. After a high of 33, mainly in the evening, really overnight until the early morning hours on Saturday, the wind really starts just blowing in. It's going to be blustery from the north, and we're looking at temperatures falling throughout the day. 10 for the high on Sunday gets even colder by Monday morning, and a lot of folks have the day off. Minus two, so two below zero for the morning low on Monday, and then we slowly recover here. 28 on Tuesday, but there is another chance for a wintry mix coming our way by the middle part of next week.